Here's a little demonstration to show you how to play the Spectra game. So first you'll need to fill out your name and your group, which typically will be your university or school. And we're going to focus on the proton NMR, H NMR, although there are other spectra, carbon NMR, IR, and near infrared that you can uh, experiment with. But we mainly we have uh, some pretty good NMR spectra right now. So we select that and we hit play. So you'll notice that at the bottom, three molecules show up, and at the top you have a spectrum. Now this is an interactive spectrum. This uses the Java plugin JSpecView, written by Robert Lancashire, and it allows you to zoom into areas of interest. So to do that, all you need to do is to put your mouse starting at the region that you want to expand, hit the left mouse button, drag across, and the spectrum will expand as much as you want. So for example, if we want to investigate this peak, we can again use the mouse to drag across it, and we can see this is a nice doublet of doublets. Now if you want to get rid of the zoom, we would right click, and then go to zoom clear views, and that would take us back to the entire spectrum. Now some other things that we can do here is we can integrate. So to do that, we right click, and then we go under view, integrate, and you can play around with some of the settings here for depending on how high you want the integral peak to be. It's offset, but if we use the defaults, we'll get something like this. So again, we can zoom in to certain areas and we can get an idea about the integration of these various peaks. So we can clear the views again. You'll notice that some of these spectra have a very tall peak here at about 4.8 and that typically will correspond to a D2O sample. So one of the challenges with this game is to actually distinguish the solvent peaks from the solutes. And uh, so these are real world spectra and so they are going to be difficult. Now when we've made our selection as to what we think the molecule is, we just click on the molecule and if we're correct at the top in green it will say we're correct and we get another spectrum. We can then choose another molecule and if it's wrong, like in this case, it basically goes to game over and it shows you the last people that played the game and it also gives you the top scores.